I am so excited today because we are talking with Ramon. Ramon is our director of warehousing and just such a bright light here at Cabby. So how long have you been at Cabby? 12 years. Managing our shipping and picking crew as well as our RMA and the warehousing crew. I love the environment, how we get along and we just get things done, especially with my team, the ones that I spend most of the day with. I mean, it's just incredible people. They just love each other. When someone is suffering, everybody suffers. When someone is in need, everybody pitches to help that person. And it's just such an amazing crew that I have that I'm blessed to work with them every day. And Ramon also has three beautiful children. So can you tell us a little bit about them? My oldest is 22, Zulema. She's gonna be graduating on May 22nd. Two majors, so I'm so proud of her. And Roxanne, she's gonna be graduating high school. She just got accepted to Yale University. I'm blessed with her too, wow. as well. And then little Matthew, I have a four and a half year old. He's in preschool. Well, Ramon, we would love to just ask you some fun and silly questions to get to know you a little bit better. Sure. Okay, so um, coffee or tea? Tea, jasmine tea. Do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Pecan. Do you have a go-to karaoke song? I'm not good at singing, so I try to skip those events. <laughs> what do you do to relieve stress? I play soccer on Sundays on a team, play to win. It's good. Did you catch that? He said play to win. <laughs> Are you reading any good books? Men's are for Mars and women for Venus. Did you learn a lot in that? Yes. <laughs> I learned how to understand women, so that's a lot. I know what it means when I don't have nothing to wear. It means I don't have anything new to wear. Who would you love to have dinner with? I would love to have dinner with Nick Pujic. He's a preacher. He's the founder of Life With No Limbs. I would love to have one-on-one -on -one with him. He makes you see life differently. He's happy, he lives comfortably, and he's enjoying every minute of his life with no limbs. What's the best advice you've ever been given? I'm not gonna win all the time, but I just have to pick my battles. Is that the advice you try to give to your children as well? Well, another advice for them is that if they work hard, they'll, they'll get rewarded. It may not be the time that they think they should get the reward, but the reward will come if they just keep on working hard. What's one of your most memorable family vacations? The Fiji trip with my wife was just peaceful and we really enjoyed our time together there. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? I would love to go to Bora Bora. What's one thing you can't live without? Love. I love to be around people. I love to be around my family. And obviously this is almost like my second home. Do you have any special skills? I can fix many things around the house, but one of my favorites is to work in, on cars. What's something that most people don't know about you? What they don't know about me is that I go to jail just about every weekend. What? What a good way. I can go in and out anytime I want. I go there to preach. Uh, we have this ministry for almost eight years uh, to preach with to, to the uh, inmates and uh, give them just hope their life can change. If your life was a movie, what would the title be? Blessed because I've just been blessed all my life. I appreciate what I have. I try to be out there, you know, help others. Another little known fact, Ramon was once a stand-in for Kimberly, our president Kimberly, in a video where she rode a motorcycle. <laughs> That's right, I still remember that. He put on a blonde wig. He is the ultimate team player. Like, sure, whatever you need, and that is just so who Ramon is. He's all hands on deck, always ready to help, and always with a smile. So, Ramon, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. It's been so fun getting to know you. I definitely learned a lot about you here today, and um, it was just so fun, so thank you. Anytime, and please, if you find that video, don't show it to my daughters. 